Butler. Um, this is like an observation, and I'm quite sure that anyone that's had like loads and loads and loads of fruit has gone through this. Um, when I eat loads of melon, I get a stomach ache. Melon belly, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I've, I've Googled it, I've gone over it, and for myself, I've worked out that if I stop, drink water, and relax, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it subsides. Yes. But then I've noticed now, because I, I live in Thailand, we, li we live in Bangkok, I've noticed that um, when we go for organic melon, melon, we don't get it. So I'm wondering, do you reckon it's something to do with the, like, pesticide or something? No. This is a rumour that I've heard from farming friends because yeah. we've been here like nearly 10 years yeah. and um, we've got several friends who have got farmer connections, family, blah blah blah, living around Thailand. They told me with melons in Thailand, because they sell them by the kilogram, not by the thing, mm. you've got lots of farmers, not all farmers, but plenty of farmers to beef up the melons. They'll, um, I don't know how or at what stage, but they'll just inject them with water and sugar. Nah. That's, Total BS. I've, I've heard this quite a lot. Yeah. And um, I'm wondering if the dirty water or something could be spreading in the melon and doing something no. to the stomach. Total BS. That, what that, do you reckon? Yeah. Why not? I'll share my experience. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. why, why does melon belly get it for mangoes or melon or grapes or yeah. banana smoothie? It's like pain here. Or it goes up your shoulder for 10 yeah. minutes. It's like you're on the ground hurting. Um, I first had that in 2002, smacking back a banana smoothie really, really fast. Gotta get to work, just chugging it back, rolled my bike to work, had to lay on the ground. Um, so what's going on? Is my liver failing or whatever? It is uh I'll answer the watermelon question first. Yeah. It covers mango as well, but as I've had mango. mango. But only once in my life with mango, a few about a month ago. Yeah. I've had mangoes for years. And yeah. then just once I got it and now I don't get it anymore. To to cover the do they inject watermelons here with sugar and water? Because <laughs> what would hap happen is it would be like a just, the air would get in there, it'd just be like Getting, they did it in China. There was a big thing in China. Exploding. Yeah. That's hormone something, isn't it? Well, that's just temperature or whatever. Oh, but okay. you cannot inject a melon and put water and sugar in there without, and then make it look the same. It would right. just be the the air will get in there and make it go moldy. You know? Don't you think it would heal kind of quick? Because you know it doesn't won't heal. Days, Fruit or... doesn't heal. Like yeah. it's it's open. Mm. You know, Fruit doesn't heal right. in, that, in that way. It's flies get in there. Or... Yeah, I mean. It, 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 the ants will get in there, it'll, just, it'll start leaking and sort of thing. You can't put that much... You know, <laughs> the, the, the farmers, the, the, the syringe... Yeah, I wouldn't know what kind of syringe they would... I, I don't like, know. It would have to be like a, a 30 gauge syringe, and you'd, you'd be sitting there for hours, it just wouldn't financially mm. add up. Yeah, I'm, I've gone through the pro... The, the, yeah. Is it possible, is it not possible? But I've, I've just heard it so many times from... Maybe yeah. it's the same one rumour circulating. Yeah, in China it was a massive thing and the yeah. government clamped down and said, look, this is bullshit, you know, like, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is wrong. Um, but wasn't the China one, it was some kind of like a growth accelerator that was being used in the wrong No, they, they said the water sugar thing as well. Oh, okay, and, and they okay. said food colouring dye, oh. so they could turn unripe melons to look ripe. Right, but right. It's, 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 uh, okay. Maybe a couple of farmers did a little bit here and there and it made a big rumour, but it's, it's a bit like, it's a bit of a wives' tale, um, a lot of people say, oh, I don't eat watermelon, I eat my Big Mac, because watermelon, you know, they, they, they inject it with stuff. Yeah. It lets people think, you know, I don't eat watermelon, I'm, I'm healthy. It's a bit like, uh, you know, I don't eat sugar, I eat Big Macs instead, I'm healthy. It's a bit of a greenwash, but it's their total bunk. And in terms of the pain, I've, I've, eat, I've grown my own melons in my own backyard and eaten them too fast or whatever, gotten pain. So I knew that they were organic because I grew them myself. Then I've been on friends' farms who grow their melons organic, yeah. same pain. Yeah. And I've had conventional melons pain. I don't get it anymore though. So it's not the organic, it's not the, the water they're injecting the watermelons. But it's easy to think that.